No. 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 So are we ready to do this? Hello everybody. It's Owensboro Burger Week and we are going to try to fit in as many burgers this week as we can. 40 of them. There's 40 and we're shooting for 40. We have nine days to get it done. Do you think we can do it? The big question is can we do it and me also get these vlogs edited daily because we want to do yeah. daily vlogs of our whole adventure. And we've also decided to try them as is. So no custom orders, special orders, remove this, add this. We're not doing that. We're ordering it just as it's made. As intended. it's made. So, so if you get some... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like coleslaw. I don't like... I am not a rabbit. I, I, I am a carnivore. <laughs> so lettuce, tomato... <laughs> Any of that coleslaw, any of that stuff, it's... Yeah, I'll eat that, but I don't like coleslaw. I don't know why. It's just slimy. It doesn't taste good. Who knows? Maybe somebody here will have coleslaw that I will actually like. Hey, I, I used to be the same with guacamole, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> here we are. We're off to our first stop. We'll see you there. tried it and I think I love it. Okay, syrup and all. You know what happens when I eat syrup? Like it. It's weird because I was expecting to taste sausage, but it's a burger. <laughs> so, different. You know, no, we're, we're doing this like a burger. Oh, gosh. By God. Burger makes it a little different. So we need we need a second go. It would definitely be better with sausage, but I mean, not bad. I can do it. I'm going back to seconds and thirds and, and fourths, so yeah. So D's diner down, one down, 39 to go. I really like D's. It it it, it was it is a little bit different having like the burger with the sweet pancakes. It's a little bit different. It probably would have been a lot better with sausage. Just personally. Or even mix sausage in with the ground beef. Like yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've done that with some recipes and thought it was pretty good, but yeah. I mean, if it has to have a beef patty of some sort. It's, it's it needed, interesting. It needs a little spice. Spice, yeah. Like. Or crunch. Yeah. So even if it had, it needs bacon or it needs sausage. It, it needs to have another flavor in there. Almost like a salty. Yeah. yeah. So a burger, like a dough, a burger and a sausage on top. That would be interesting. I think somebody has something like that somewhere. That would be interesting. As a rating out of 10, what, what do you give these? I say an eight and a half. Eight and a half? I was going to go with an eight. The, do you want to do like whole number ratings or halves? You can do halves. It's fun. We don't know what we're doing. We're, <laughs> we're winging this shit. We're <laughs> so, on to our next stop. Where are we headed now? Uh, Big Dipper. Sweet. See y'all at the Dipper. We're 
still trying to find a place in Oldsboro to eat this damn burger. <laughs> Everything is wet because it rained this morning. They don't have inside dining at the Big Dipper. So that's where we went was the Big Dipper. And the Big Dipper is a double cheeseburger with American and ghost pepper cheese with bacon, sauteed peppers and onions. You can have it spicy with the ghost pepper cheese or for less heat, have American cheese. Again, we're ordering these as is. Um, I don't dig the uh, sauteed peppers and onions, but- Me either. We're gonna go for it. The bun got really soggy <laughs> and it's falling apart. It's really good. I think all my onions and peppers <laughs> fell off though. There's still some on here. I love it. We're gonna need two hands. Two hands. All right, here we go. He doesn't like onions or peppers. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, try try that side right there with the bacon. I don't think you got much bacon. I got all onions and peppers. <laughs> Turn it around. Keep turning. There you go. Yeah, but that tastes like a bacon cheeseburger from the dipper. <laughs> So what's different that they added to it? Just the ghost pepper and the onions? And the the sauté pepper and onions, I don't dig the texture. Yeah. The slimy texture in my mouth, no. And the bun's soggy. Yeah. But I think it tastes good. You take all, okay, I think we're good now. You take all the junk off of it. Mm, fire. Yeah. Okay, so we're back in the car. It's cold out there. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> so are we ready to rate it? Yes. I kind of want to give it two ratings. I'm going to go with a nine without the onions and peppers. With the onions and peppers, I'm going to go with like a six. I agree with her as far as the onions and peppers go. Like, uh, I was not a fan, not a fan at all. Uh, the, the ghost pepper cheese was amazing. I love Dipper burgers and I love uh, Dipper bacon, bacon cheeseburgers from Dipper. I love them. I wonder and, if ghost pepper cheese is something that they have on the regular. I don't know. The slimy peppers and onions gives it, makes it a four. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. It was much better once the onions and, well, and there were so many onions and peppers that, I mean, we just ordered it five minutes before we got here. Yeah. The whole bottom bun was already soggy. Yeah. So it pretty much fell apart and then all the onions and peppers fell off of it. Right. So, so that's our take on the Big Dipper. What do we got next? I'm on the list. I believe it's Amvet 75. Amvet 75. I don't think I've ever had food from there. So this will be a first <laughs> time. Let's go. So we're rerouting a little bit because Amvets, they're not going to have their burgers done till 11. So we're heading out 54. We're gonna go to Beef's, which Beef's is one of my favorite restaurants. It's Mine one of too. Our, it's one of our favorite restaurants, and I have very high hopes for Beef's. I, 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 in looking at the burgers, Beef's is the one that I probably pick to win. So there's an Old South are the two burgers that look like. <laughs> and my stomach's already burning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not full. I'm not hungry. But that ghost pepper cheese, like I can literally feel like my stomach lining feels like it's on fire. <laughs> and it wasn't even that hot, but I can feel it a little bit of a burn in there. Just a little ghost pepper. Just a that little. mixed with the syrup from Stop One. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have it. We're probably gonna have an issue here real soon. <laughs> In case we need to pull over. Pull over with a bad case of the bubble guts. But beefs, we're on the way. Don't let me down.
this is a good burger. I like this one. It's really good. I can't. I can't pinpoint this sauce. It has a barbecue to it. Slight. I feel like it has a teriyaki, maybe. It's sweet. I think I like everything about it, even the Swiss cheese. I don't like Swiss by itself or when I can taste it, but. So we just got done at Beast, by far my favorite burger so far of the day. They didn't disappoint. I had high hopes and they came through. Yep. Favorite today. Favorite today so far. <laughs> One more burger and then we're gonna take a break for a little bit, but we gotta rate, we gotta rate beefs, baby. I'm gonna go with a solid nine. Solid nine and I agree. But I think that there is going to be other burgers that are going to top that think so yeah that's why i picked nine because i think there's going to be that's what based I'm... on what i've seen i think there's going to be at least a couple that might be better than that but it was a really good one yeah that i that old south burger i would like to have another one of these <laughs> I, i'd like to have another one of those too i could definitely i definitely go back for another yeah so shout out to beefs all right we're now we're gonna go try to get amvets again yep so and Vance, here we come. You know, I, I was like, I thought, I thought beast was going to be tough to beat, but you know, I, me personally, I liked Amvet, Amvet's better. It was simple, but it was good. The taste of the smoked burger. Yes, the smoke, the smoke taste really. The cheese was smoked. The burgers are smoked. The barbecue sauce. And it had pickles. The pickles were good. It felt it felt like home, and uh, I really dig that. I'm kind of simple. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half. That's where I'm going. I'll go with a nine too. I think if they were to change anything, I would probably put the the fried onions on there. What are they called? The crispy. Crispy onions, yeah. The crispy onions, kind of like what Beef's had on theirs, instead of the onion ring. That's probably the only thing I would change. And and another thing I want to say about them is they are so nice in there. Oh my gosh! Like definitely come come down here, try the food, hang uh, out, hang out, because the people are so cool in there. Definitely my vibe. We we met probably four or five people in there that just came up and talked to us. Yeah, like they had known us their whole life. Yeah, so shout out to the AMVETS, man. 